Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, we're in the back of my daughter's new 01 Ford Explorer. Uh, and got a pretty good deal on it because there's a couple things wrong with it, but overall it's in really good shape. Uh, as you can see, I'm laying here on the back floor looking at this handle here. We're in the back of the car. In the back lift gate, when you open the go to pull on the handle, nothing is going on so there's something wrong in here and there should be two Phillips screws under here little ones and in this case there's only one because people can't be bothered to actually put screws back where they belong uh, as usual one of my biggest pet peeves anyhow I'll find another one when I go to put it back together and we'll hopefully get it all put back together here and that just pops right out. There's a little uh, clip right here that hooks right into the metal piece here. And quite honestly, I did this on a 92 Ford Explorer that I had a long time ago, but this one seems to be somewhat different, and I can't remember how I did it last time. So I'm going to kind of look at this. It, by the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be similar to the uh, Astro Van, where it's just going to have clips and things like that. So I'm going to try and be real careful. I'm hoping... I don't break anything like I did last time, although I did get it fixed and that glue is holding if you watched my Astro Van one. Anyhow, I'm going to reset you up and we'll see what we In this left hand corner, I actually just reached kind of up under here, kind of grabbed it up under this area here, and it does just have clips in here, and they just pop loose. across here sorry about the light but it's what you get and they just pop loose so I don't know and then it lifts up kind of like just like the door on the Astro Van almost identical and then I'm going to reach in here and I'm going to try and get this tailgate open give you a better look Put the cover off here we uh, see this little yellow clip here and there's also a rod down here but you can get to it over here and they actually push towards it or towards the outside um, which lifts up the tailgate blowing on you too Ooh. much here um, inside I'm giving you a closer look at the back of the door panel here there's these clips here and they just r sit inside of metal cutouts on the inside of the door so they do you just unhook around the top edge like you saw me do and then you lift straight up and it comes out from underneath there came off really all right hopefully you have enough light here i'll give you more in a second when i pull on the lever as you can see there's that little yellow thing right there on the end uh, that actually broke and somebody glued it back together inside the hole there which makes it so that it won't actually pivot so every time you pulled on this it's putting stress on that and it finally snapped so uh, bad fix there of whoever did it last uh, anyhow so I need to get that clip and what it is it actually goes to this you can see the piece that's broke off there and that goes into screws into Something, hopefully you can hear this, something similar to that. It screws on to the rod, but the uh, actual rod is back down in here. So anyhow, I need to go find that piece right there. It was inside the door. And I actually have to take a really long punch. As you can see, pretty long. And my little ball peen hammer, I mean you can see, I don't know, compared to my hand size, it's pretty long and knock that little piece out of the hole there um took a few shots because it was glued in there so anyhow there is the culprit now i gotta find the part that'll work for it what i'm doing now i'm just using some of this three-in-one oil and i'm just lubing this thing up uh, trying to get this here to move a little bit easier than it was which should help any fix anyway. 
broken piece and I need that piece and here is the latch to the same type of vehicle only for the driver's side door uh, go check out that video I got a video on how I replaced the electric door actuator lock uh, in the driver's side door there so go check that out but in getting all the parts and pieces for that I had this left over and this piece right here that's hooked to it looks fairly similar I mean it's obviously not exactly the same part but it does basically the same thing and I believe that the holes are about the same size the only thing that's different is really this piece here might be a little bigger um, but like I said this is broken in there so I don't know exactly what that looked like before anyway so I'm gonna attempt to take this off of here and stick that well that was a there. fail uh, herein lies the problem I'm thinking the reason why they had actually glued this super glued this into the hole there was because there must be a longer piece that sticks out and I've been kind of fighting with this thing here uh, and if this panel is just sitting here and I kind of looked and actually this was just flopping in the wind right here anyway and it just has clips like door panel clips uh, you honking door panel clips anyhow so I'm just gonna unhook these and get inside this panel I can just put that to the side and I can reach in here and I can push the uh, clip in there so try and save all your clips here boy these, this has obviously been gotten into before because there's several clips that are just sitting in the door here so yet again it's not that hard to put them back right but obviously it was for this that? guy there is the napa part number here and it's kind of a package that has that and that little gray one right there it's got the square in looks pretty much identical to that I know I said that I thought it, that maybe this piece here had a longer piece on it but it looks too much like it to not be the part but we'll see I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out see if we can make it work it's about five bucks for the package full of stuff took off and through here I can kind of bring this this arm right here this is what we're actually trying to get on here. You probably won't be able to see a thing, but basically that's going to go around that. I cannot film this and do this with one hand. I'm going to have to put you down. As you can see, this hole here on the new one is quite a bit smaller than the old one. So what I'm going to do instead of wrestling around with this any longer is drill this out and tap it out um, to this size here. Uh, hopefully this works. Uh, yet again, if this is one of those things that you choose to do and it doesn't work for you and something breaks and you can't take the part back, which it's only five hours, um, I'm not it's responsible. Here. I drilled it out to what appeared to be a number nine and that seems to be just snug enough to where I can turn it and screw it on there. If I have any problems, I got I'll let that you know. screwed on there, turned that way, and as you can see, this little hole right there is I push around here and pull up. That's where it hooks, is right to this little hole. And we're going to take it and hopefully hear a click. Here's the new piece that I've drilled out, stuck this in here, and I don't know if my hole up here right there is wallered out for lack of a better word too much or what but it's not staying in there which is probably why yet again the last people had super glue in there and I refuse to glue this thing in but I have come up with what I think might be a fix here if I take this screw and screw it into here kind of like a wall anchor it pushes out 
Uh, hopefully you can see this. It'll push out on those two little nibs on each side there and it won't let them come in. And I'm hoping that that combined with this being bigger than the hole on the other side where it's going to go through will hold it all in there. Whether or not it works, I don't know. And it's just going to screw right down in there into that hole and it fits just right. I don't know what size screw it is. You'll have to find your own if this is something that you need to do to fix this. But that'll screw right into there and hopefully that'll hold it. We'll see. If it works, I didn't figure I could show you on the inside so I'm showing you now. If it works, I'll tell you. If it don't work, I'll tell you. Well, there's a screw right there. Uh, it seems to be holding really well. So that is on the inside part of that clip, how I showed you. And we'll go up through here. Hopefully I don't make you sick. Um, big thing, take this panel off, whatever you do if you're doing this project. Take this panel off of here because it makes it so much easier to get up in here and get to all the stuff. I mean, on the other hand, maybe not so much. So that gray thing right there at the end of my wiggly finger. Uh, there we go. That is the piece there. And as you can see, that seems to be holding. Hopefully things won't break. That seems to be working with the screw in there. I'm going to close this gate. We'll see if it opens. Uh, and something else I forgot to say. The screw that I put in there, I ended up using this. Which is the driver end of a Phillips screwdriver or screw that goes into your screw gun. Um, it's a big, big long one here. You could probably use a shorter one. Um, but I happen to have this. And actually it for... Because when I put it in my spot when I'm uh, where I keep it it falls through the hole I actually put this tape on there and that actually worked really well for getting the grip on there and turning it so think outside the box and uh, you might find another tool we are gonna find out together whether this works or not I have not tested this not nothing I just closed the door started the camera so here we go please work alright ta-da there we go all right well there's a fix if you have a broken tailgate lever um, hopefully this helps you out if you are having a problem with that clip I highly recommend you finding the screw like I did and putting it in there it seems you working fine uh, just for purposes to uh, make sure I don't have to tear it all apart again. I'm going to leave the back end off of here a little while and we'll use it and uh, if that breaks for some reason we'll still be able to get into the back easily and then I'll give you an update on it later on. Uh, hopefully it won't break and if it lasts it lasts and at the very least it'll work for a while until I can get a new latch or something like that because I do think there's a problem with that latch or something because the clip just didn't fit in there and it like I said it appeared that they actually super glued the clip into the hole there so um, I think it it could actually be the latch the hole is kind of wallered out as I said uh, and the, the clips aren't staying in there so therefore they super glued it in there well when you super glue it in there that makes it that piece there actually needs to rotate and turn and I'm sure it just snapped probably not too long after he super glued it actually um, but with that screw it actually still allows it to turn inside that hole there so hopefully this is a good fix um, like I said if it's not for some reason it doesn't last right, it will well, be the first I think she's note. fixed uh, thumbs up thumbs down subscribe comment rate do all those things for me i appreciate it very much uh this is sam jack of all master nine y'all have a good one